Okay, now we are solving for x, but what we need to make sure is, please put in parentheses, check for excluded values. And excluded values mean extraneous solutions. They're values that would make the denominator equal to zero. So when I look up here, I see three denominators, x, zero, and x squared. The only number that would make this denominator equal to zero is zero. When it doesn't have an x, you can't make it equal to zero. And the only value here that would make it equal to zero is zero. So I'm going to come off to the side and I'm going to write zero. I just need to make sure that my final answer is not zero. Okay, we need to find a common denominator. I'm going to rewrite x squared as x times x to make it easier for you. So I have x, a 1, and x squared. If you need to find a common denominator, it means what can I turn these into to make them all the same? So if I have put an x here, do you agree the first and the last would now be the same? But the middle is missing two x's, so I'm going to do x times x and x times x. You are welcome to write x squared if you prefer. Now they all have one x squared in the denominator. Remember, if you don't see a one, it's a one. So one x squared, one x squared, one x squared. With equations, with equations, once the denominator is the same, we cross it out. On top, three x plus one x squared equals nine. I'm gonna move everything to the side that has the x squared and I'm gonna write it in standard form. One x squared plus three x, now when this moves over, it was positive, it becomes negative. Okay, so we are supposed to be able to solve this, right? And this is gonna be solvable, but can you factor right now? Are the two things that multiply to give you negative 9 and combine to give you a positive 3? I think I made a small mistake here, so let's, let's switch this up. And do me a favor, I'd like you to change this. Cross out the 9, please, for me. Cross out the 9 and make it a positive 2. And let's make it a negative 2 on the left. Make it a negative 2 on the left so when it comes over, it becomes a positive 2. Once again, change this because I know for your test it is factorable, okay? That's why I'm changing it. We could have used um, completing the square or quadratic formula to solve, but I know it is factorable to solve. So again, I change this to a negative 2, so when the negative 2 comes over, it becomes positive. Now I'm going to factor it. What multiplies to give you positive 2 and combines to give you 3? x plus 1 and x plus 2. So the answer would be negative 1 and negative 2. The only thing we have to check is, are either one of these values part of the excluded values? Yes or no? no. There, we're good to go.